Imagine turning your house, stocks, or even a bar of gold into digital tokens. Sounds futuristic? Well, it's happening now. BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager is stepping boldly into the blockchain world with their Bitcoin ETF and advocating for more cryptocurrency ETFs. Their CEO, Larry Fink, envisions these moves as mere stepping stones towards a groundbreaking concept, tokenization. Let me be clear, I think ETFs are step one right. in the technological revolution in the financial markets. Step two is going to be the tokenization of every financial asset. And to me, this is where we believe it's going. So we're looking at uh, Bitcoin, we're looking at ETFs in the same right. manner. These are technological changes that can allow us to move forward. What exactly is tokenization and how might it transform our approach to real world assets? At its core, Tokenization involves converting the rights to an asset, whether it be bonds or real estate, into a digital token on a blockchain network. It enhances liquidity, turning previously illiquid assets like buildings or artwork into easily traded tokens. Traditionally, bonds have been the domain of large financial institutions, often out of reach for everyday investors. Furthermore, the traditional bond issuance process is costly, involving intermediaries like clearinghouses and underwriters, not to mention significant legal fees. By tokenizing bonds, the asset becomes available to retail investors, increasing their liquidity and affordability. Smart contracts, which can be thought of as self-operating sets of rules coded into the blockchain, function like a vending machine. Just as a vending machine automatically dispenses your chosen snack after you input the correct amount, smart contracts automatically execute agreed-upon actions, such as distributing interest payments, thereby reducing the costs associated with issuing bonds. This not only makes the process cheaper for borrowers but also more profitable for lenders. It's a win-win in the world of finance. And speaking of wins, if you're curious about how the blockchain is transforming bonds, don't miss our in-depth video on this topic. Another asset class, among others, heading towards tokenization is real estate, as seen with the St. Regis Aspen Resort. Here, 19.9% .9 of the property was transformed into Aspen coins, each representing a share in the luxury resort. Tokenization transforms real estate by turning traditionally illiquid assets into liquid ones, enabling fractional ownership. For example, Investors can now own a portion, like 3%, of a property, making it easier to buy and sell these fractions. Tokenization also democratizes real estate investments. By breaking down properties into tokens, it lowers the entry barrier for investors, broadening market accessibility. Moreover, it cuts out many intermediaries such as brokers and agents, reducing costs and simplifying transactions. Furthermore, the blockchain technology underpinning tokenization ensures both transparency and security. Its immutable ledger offers equal access to asset information and robust protection against data tampering, enhancing trust in ownership records and transaction history. As we reach the end of our exploration into the world of asset tokenization, let's examine what BlackRock CEO Larry Fink highlighted. We have the technology to tokenize today. If you have a tokenized security and identity, the moment you buy or sell an instrument on a general ledger, that is all created together. You want to talk about issues around money laundering. This eliminates all corruption by having a tokenized system. What are your thoughts on this vision of a tokenized future? Do you see it as the key to eliminating financial corruption and enhancing security? Or are there aspects of this technology that you believe need further exploration or caution? Let us know in the comments and thanks for watching.